hemolytic uremic syndrome, hamburger disease, is actually one that starts off affecting your blood cells. So it's a condition where your child has somehow managed to encounter a particular type of bacteria. There are a number of them, but the most common is something called E. coli. And that bacteria has a poison that it can secrete into your child's body. And it does this by, by releasing this poison when the bacteria makes its way into your, into your child's gut. The poison itself actually leads to the cells in your body being injured in such a way that they're not able to repair themselves very effectively. And eventually what that leads to in the first part of this disease is that the blood vessels in your body essentially get damaged. And my way of thinking about this is that what happens when those uh, blood vessels are damaged is that the straws, if you think of a blood vessel as being a long straw, starts to narrow. And for anybody who's ever had bubble tea or has ever tried to drink uh, Slurpee through a very small straw, you'll realize how difficult it is to do that. That's why the straws that they give you for these things are very, very large. Well, your blood vessels are very similar to this. So your blood vessels are a certain size for a reason and they help allow the blood to flow past and through the tubes very easily. And if anything damages those tubes so that those straws are now very, very narrow, you can imagine how much more difficult it is for blood to pass by them. At this point, most people are kind of wondering where, where would my child have gotten this poison or this, this bacteria, this E. coli? And there are many, many different places, unfortunately, where in today's society you can be exposed to this particular type of bacteria. But if you had to think of the most common or the most likely places, the most common is in, in hamburger or ground beef. Okay? The reason for that is because the bacteria that we normally see in North America with this disease is a normal bacteria for many cattle that, that are present in North America. Normal to the point where the cattle will almost always carry this in a large herd, 30 to 40 percent at any given time will have this bacteria in their, their own bodies and that's normal for them. But if the bacteria gets into the meat supply, into the into the meat that you or your child will, will encounter, often in the form of hamburger, then that bacteria, if it gets into your child's body, can be very dangerous. Water has been involved in this particular disease, either directly, where it's been a major water contamination, or indirectly, because the water that's used to water plants, strawberries, um, other, uh, other agricultural products, can also lead to contamination. So your child is at risk from a number of different areas to encounter this particular organism. They'll get crampy abdominal pain and they'll often have bloody diarrhea. Almost always that's the first problem that they encounter when they ingest this bacteria. The second problem that they'll often have is that they'll then start to look pale and unwell and maybe have those bruises from the cells inside their blood that have been injured by the small uh, straws or tubes in their bloodstream. The third problem is really the one that's the most worrisome, however, and that is the effect on all the organs in the body from having their blood cells start to break down and from having less blood flow going to major organs inside your body. When you have a child who develops bloody diarrhea, I think the important lesson is that this is a serious potential problem for your child. It's not a certainty that their, your child actually has HUS, but it now is a possibility. And in particular, if there's been an outbreak reported in the news or if uh, your child is being exposed to hamburger uh, in particular, especially poorly cooked hamburger, then I think it is a type of condition where seeking medical care and medical attention would be very valuable. This could be simply a visit to your family physician or pediatrician for a careful physical exam and perhaps one or two very simple blood tests. Or if you're more worried about your child and though the diarrhea is more significant, then a visit to the emergency department is also quite appropriate. The first is to prepare food in a very clean and safe environment and cleaning the countertops and all of your cooking utensils and cutting boards and so on um, are important steps. The second is that 
especially if you're working with meats such as hamburger and ground hamburger, these things are, are, need to be cooked well. There's essentially never an indication to serve pink or undercooked or raw uh, hamburger meat. It's simply not acceptable, especially in, in uh, providing this to children. In addition, washing your fruit and vegetables um, as well as possible is likely going to help. Uh, certainly not serving uh, food or vegetables that's visibly contaminated with uh, soil or manure. Mm -hmm.